today um, I'm going to do another book review. I've already done one um, and I think I'd like to do this after every time I've read a book. Um, just just because there's no real reason really. Um, as I've, I've spoken about before I work in a library and through working in a library I'm actually reading a lot of books that I wouldn't normally have picked up because I, I get to kind of read the blurbs and you know when I'm putting them away and, and seeing kind of what what interesting things there, there are out there um it's not that I have a, a specific a specific um genre or style of book that I, I prefer to read um but I never kind of ventured out of kind of what I would just call general fiction I wouldn't read crime or horror or sci-fi or anything like that and one thing I definitely wouldn't read and that was teen fiction or young adult fiction and I'm so silly for not doing that because there are some amazing books out there written for the teen audience um, that can also be read by adults. And um, like I say, I'm you know working in the library and putting books on the shelves and everything. I've um, you know found some really interesting little gems in the in the teen section. Um, and speaking to a colleague um, at the library. We, we've had kind of discussions about um, teen literature. She likes to read it as well. Um, and how people kind of turn their noses up at it. And the only real difference between teen fiction and adult fiction is that the main characters are teenagers. Um, but some of the stories are really gripping. You, you've got, you know, you've got your love stories. You've got your kind of fantasy stories. And you've got things that I really like, which are kind of the um, dystopian novel um, so, I mean, if you've enjoyed Brave New World, 1984, um, Handmaid's Tale, I mean, there are so many adult fiction books about, you know, dystopian world. There are so many teen books about it. And like I say, the only difference between the teen books and the adult books is not um, that they're dumbed down for, for the younger audience or um, that the stories are stupid. The stories are really good, but the main characters are teenagers. Um, so, so yeah, so I have been reading a lot of teen fiction. Um, not everything, I hasten to add. Um, the idea of reading about vampires and werewolves all the time, it doesn't appeal to me. Not saying that I won't try it. I've just not picked up a book that has kind of uh, sparked any interest in me, really. Um, another thing that I do like to read um, are short stories. I like to write short stories and obviously, you know, to, to see what's on the market, I like to read them. Um, so the book that I'm going to be talking about today is a teen fiction collection of short stories um, and it's called And Then He Kissed Me um, and there we go and um, on the front cover it says And Then He Kissed Me stories of love heartbreak and other unnatural disasters um, I do like the odd romance I wouldn't say that that's my main area of interest but I do like to you know have a happy ending every now and then in 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 what I read um, and it's a collection of short stories written by different authors and just on the back it says 10 ways to fall in and out of love um, from Katie Dale, Kathy Kelly, Abby McDonald, Monica McInery, Sinead Moriarty, Joanna Naden, Adele Parks, Mad Madvi Romani, Diane Sheldon and Sarah Webb. I've not heard of any of those authors and I do apologise but you know there are so many authors out there um so i hadn't heard of any of these authors but i like the idea of a little collection of short stories um inside it's just got a little a page here a quote from shakespeare love is not love which alters when it alteration finds or bends with the remover to remove oh no it is an ever fixed mark that looks on tempests and is never shaken and that's from sonnet 116 by shakespeare um, and then it just says underneath, what better way to open a romance anthology than with the immortal words of Shakespeare? The stories in this collection are sometimes tender, sometimes funny and sometimes sad, but all are a celebration of love, however fleeting. We hope you enjoy reading them as much as we enjoyed writing them. And then there's the signatures of all the, all the authors. Um, although I do like teen fiction, and like I've said before, the only difference between teen and adult fiction is that the main characters are teenagers. Generally, the stories that I have read have um could appeal to adults um unfortunately it wasn't the case with this book um it's written for teenagers with teenagers being the main characters and when it comes to teen love as opposed to adult love um 
there, there's always going to be oh i don't know it's it's just not as comfortable for me um so i didn't i can't honestly say i enjoyed reading this this book because it was aimed at teenagers um and i and i understand from a you know from the perspective of a teenager you know you're 15 years old you're going through puberty you're you're coming out into the world um you're developing you're growing your attitudes are changing you you know you're becoming more emotionally mature and it is a good thing to have stories or you know articles whatever to kind of help you through this changing time and this is what this book is about this book contains stories about um holiday romances um finding love when you're on your um you know you might be doing a voluntary placement somewhere it's not you're not at work because you're not obviously old enough but you're volunteering somewhere and there's an attractive young man there that you know you, you fall for um and also the sad um issue of unrequited love between you know two best friends you, you, you see these things in the films where the girl has a has a has a male best friend and um, she's chasing after all these idiot guys that treat her badly and the best friend is always there as a shoulder to cry on someone to support her and he obviously falls for her and you know she doesn't see it until the end or until it's too late or something um so this book does touch on um kind of various aspects of romance and love for teenagers um and i think if i had been <laughs> 15 or so years younger reading this i i could probably associate with with the issues that some of these um these characters were going through um you know the, the difficulty dealing with um you know school bullies people you know laughing at you um talking about you behind your back because you happen to have spent some time with a boy you know it's like oh you know what's going on there and it could just be a, an innocent friendship um and also how how difficult it is um, being a teenager and having a crush on someone or fancying someone and not knowing what to do and what to say um, and how to approach it and um, not all of these stories are happy endings not everybody um, you know ends up with their with their kiss that they that they'd hoped for um, which I think is also that there are some warning stories in it um, about you know not trusting people um, and being careful with what you do and what you say and how you behave around people so um so yeah it, it this is a a nice little um collection and although again it is in the in the teenage section this isn't um a book that i would kind of recommend to adults there are some other teen books that i will be recommending to adults because they are fantastic but unfortunately this one um it, it isn't it isn't for adults it's it is aimed at at teenagers you know between i guess like 14 and 18 years old um but if you are between 14 and 18 years old and, and you are struggling with um love or relationships or you don't know what to do in a certain situation then i think this is a, a nice little book for you to read but like i say i wouldn't recommend it to adults um but yeah I, I i quite liked it but it just it didn't kind of appeal to me because i'm not 14 anymore um and and the things that they were talking about i i probably could have given some better advice having gone through some of the things that that had happened in in these stories but anyway it, it's a nice little read and like i say if you are if you are 15 then then i'd pick this up from the library um so yeah so that's that book um i haven't i have got a few books that um that i want to start next i i pick up too many um but my next book that i'm planning on reading is a horror from the horror section so um, we'll see how I get on with that and um, and yeah so all I want to say really is uh, please subscribe to my channel um, I will be putting out videos on book reviews um, writing advice and little bits and pieces about my own writing world and um, so if you're interested in those things then uh, please subscribe and um, yeah have a nice day today the sun's shining so go out and enjoy yourself and I will see you soon bye bye